What's up guys? Welcome to my tutorial and in today's tutorial we will start doing floor slabs, walls and we will import cut floor plans for the ground and the first floor. So at the beginning we will create our ground floor slab. Right, to do this you need to open floor panel architectural floor and we will create a new type let's just call it uh, ground floor slab yeah and let's edit structure okay don't need existing thing so we can delete everything let's start with the structure so structure will be on top we'll have concrete screen 50 millimeters so we can go with the concrete that's fine down below we will have um, monolithic reinforced concrete uh, basically we can go with concrete as well but let's change the material for visual purpose hopefully it will open come on Also, when we create a section plan, uh, sections and doing elevations and edit specification, we can always change the hatch, how it appears. It, it can appear in 3D as a concrete, but we can make it look, I don't know, as an insulation, for example. Let's take a look what we have for screen. Yeah, let's use this one. Alright. And uh, that's okay, that's okay for now. Probably we'll change it later on. And this one will be 100 millimeter thick. Yeah, that's good. And underneath we will have two layers of insulation. Let's change it to thermal layer actually it doesn't matter as I've mentioned before and let's change material to any type of insulation we have in our library let's use the rigid insulation yeah and it will be 50 mil and another rigid insulation will be 50 mil as well yeah rigid insulation if we click ok change it to 50 yeah we are ready to go ok and now we will is so let's take a look again 150, 50, yeah that's fine and probably let's use an pick line tool and let's use offset for 60 mil from our load bearing wall which is that one and let's go along go along there as I, as you remember we will have different high slabs there so we will make it separately 60 mil there 60 mil there 60 mil there there and there Let's use this trim tool. Yeah, 
Yeah, ground floor level. Click OK. No. So let's take a look what we have. Probably we have a wrong height currently. Yeah, our our load bearing long load bearing walls currently are too high. So when you select that's under the steps and when you creating and click tick let's click yes and hopefully they will be attached yeah that's what we need but actually this bar should be higher so no, better under this leave it as it is and let's make this just these three walls lower so let's select our slab isolate it so it's easier to work with it and let's move it down there It will make more sense when we'll start doing sections and elevations and all details, detailed callouts. I will show you why it's there. And now we need to join our load external load bearing walls with our floor slab. Yeah. Just click on a load bearing wall and click on a slab. Just like that, yeah. If you can't select something, just use the tab key. Okay, it looks okay, yeah. And now with the same floor slab type, we are going basically to do the same thing for our boiling room. Yeah, you can't do it in 3D, you need to open. That's why I have open ground floor as well. So open your ground floor and select floor same type which we used before let's offset 60 millimeters as well from load bearing wall if you can't select something just use a tab key or just let's let's do it manually Mil. then trim tool line delete this part and in this case I'm going up to up to the load bearing wall yeah like that or even up up to the previous floor slab we created yeah trim there and let's change the height of set to minus 300 let's click no let's take a look what we have yeah that looks fine and let's join our load bearing walls with the floor slab
Yes, that looks about right. Okay, it's time. It's time to start doing our external walls and partitions. Let's load our ground floor and first floor first. Because currently we have just a foundation level from a uh, card drawing for foundation. And to be honest we can hide it at the moment. Just double double H for hide or just select it, right click and hide in view elements. You can always unhide it if you need. Okay. Let's import our card drawing. As I explained previously, it's better to link our card drawings instead of just inserting them. Instead of just importing card, try always to use link card. Because you can always make changes in card, save card drawing and then re-update it in Revit. Otherwise, imported card drawing you can't do anything with it and you can't change it you can just hide some layers and that's it so you click on the link card go to a folder where you have your card drawing currently we are on the ground floor so we insert ground floor in this case I will import it just in black and white auto detect and I will select current view only because I don't need it to make it visible in all floor plans and in 3D. So most most of the time I'm using current view only. Origin to origin is fine, we will move it anyway. Okay, let's import it. Takes some time to import. This drawing is actually light, so it should take a lot of time. Yeah, that's it. First of all, unpin it and Let's check if the scale is right. Let's use our line tool. And let's dimension something. For example, this one. That's, yeah, 325. That's right. Now, we have created our grids in the previous videos. So we need to align these grids with our grids we created. Let's align this grid first or just let's align it straight away. But they're crossing each other. Yeah, looks about right. And now when we unpin it, now we move to the place that should be located. Now you can pin it back. So might be quite helpful while you are doing, while you are modeling. And the problem is currently that we can't see our cut walls and everything. That's what we are going to make. So I would suggest to isolate cut drawing. Don't we don't want to see our foundations and floor slabs. So now we have temporarily isolated our floor slab and everything and we can start modeling our walls. Right, uh, I think for this video it's pretty much it and we will start creating our wall types and floors. They will be a bit different to our floor slabs in the next tutorials. So I hope to see you again in next videos. Please like and share and subscribe as well if possible. <laughs> this will really motivate me to make more videos again. Thank you very much and see you again.